Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John, and we are in the world-famous Sipping Den. This is where I do most of my videos and reviews, and what do I do them on? I do them on everything that has anything to do with coffee, and everything that has anything to do with alcohol. And in order for you to make sense of this and be able to find everything so great, I have broken the code for YouTube's playlists. And I have everything broken down into categories and subcategories to make it so easy for you to find. And as far as what you're viewing at any particular time, the first comment I always pin because it has a link to the playlist that pertains to what I'm reviewing. In this case, Infusio K-Cup Columbia Supremo um, going on dark roast little dots down here to tell you the roast so it's almost all the way to the darkest spot uh, it is uh, four out of five um, let's see they specialize in single serve coffee pods they are certified kosher uh, I ordered a pack of 12 different flavors and roasts so I've been going through them spacing them out um, they do roast everything a few days before they ship it to you. So uh, then they'll package it, package it and ship it. They have a turbocharged uh, variety, which is extra caffeine. I don't have that. Um, all their coffee, of course, their flavored coffees, <coughs> excuse me, are sugar-free. And, you know, all these coffees I've been getting, the different names and everything, other than the flavor, that's self-explanatory, are different... Um, unique flavors and roasts within themselves. So let's see how this Colombian, Colombian Supremo is. There we go. I post my coffees on Sunday, but if you drink coffee every day like I do, um, you could just go to my playlist where I have hundreds of, and watch one every time you drink a cup. Maybe find the same one you're trying, which would be fun and interesting. It gives you some great ideas for coffee. It really will. Yeah, blindfolded, you'd probably drink enough coffee as we do. Uh, be able to tell if this is a dark roast. You can smell it. Um, you know, the little burnt toast, deep smell that is associated. Not the lighter, fruity, or grassy smell of the lighter roasts. Uh, so that's uh, uh, true to um, nature there. Uh, it's got a nice coffee smell, traditional coffee smell that you would smell. Now, if you walk in, I use this example a lot, into a, um, oh, a coffee shop. Um, not one of the um, modern, privately owned coffee shops that have a strong smell of great coffee. But one of the, like, breakfast places, right? Maybe on vacation down the shore is what I'm associated with. They sell breakfast, but they always have coffee brewing. Um, this smells a little little richer and darker than that smell that would be in that air, if that makes sense to you. Let's give it a taste. I'll do an acclimation sip, and then I'll go in for the taste of it. When you smell coffee, good way you, uh, technique, and a lot of people who judge coffee will uh, cup it like this. So, if you want to be a nerd, that's what you do. A little hot. And I'll tell you about these coffees uh, while I'm doing this, while I'm getting acclimated. Most of the 12 that I've had, this will be 10, uh, have been good. You know, above average. A few have been under, but most, 80-90%, have been above. That's all I'll say so far about these. Medium acid. Meaning the, uh, the wateriness, the, the size of the tongue, uh, the reaction you get when you bite into a lemon type thing. I'd say that's medium. The aftertaste is not bitter, but it is dark. Well, it is dark chocolate bitter. Like baking chocolate, where you get the chocolate and you get some bitter, you get the bitterness. Um, but not just all bitter. It's got that chocolatey uh, flavor on the aftertaste. Um, traditional, as I like to say, because we all know what coffee tastes like or should taste like, is traditional taste. 
of coffee, just a little richer, just a little bit. Or a little more, um, you know, in tune with the dark roast. So, that's all I'll say about that. It's a good cup. It's nothing unbelievable. Certainly nothing uh, off-putting in it. Let's add a little um, heavy cream. It will tone down the acid if you don't like the acid. It'll tone down the bitterness, and it might bring out other flavors. Add some mouthfeel, um, some vanilla, some sweetness. things. It's a magic elixir right here. It really is. You can drink that straight. There's nothing off-putting about it. But this just adds to it. And you get a little bolder coffee. If you like to add anything at all to it, you want it to shine through and push through. So that's what I look for. Uh, if you're getting a, more of a lighter roast and you're looking for more of the floral, grassy notes that you might get on a light roast, you might want to drink that... Um, you know, just black, um, so as not to overpower those flavors. Because they are more delicate. Um, and that's all I have to say about this. Uh, but check out the playlist. I have some interesting stuff on there. Like I always tell people, even if it's something that you might not be interested in for yourself, one of the categories, you may know somebody who is. You may not be into wine, but you need to get a gift for somebody, or you're going to a dinner party, right? And you want to have an idea what to bring. Boom. And the same with everything that I review. And it might give you some good ideas for yourself to try. I'm telling you, check out the playlist. You're going to be, you're going to be pretty, uh, pretty amazed with it. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to sub. I'll keep at it. You keep at it. And I'll see you on the next one.